the Republicans and Democrats continue to deliberate a budget deal amid a government shutdown, China and Japan have exerted pressure on the world's largest economy to avoid an unprecedented debt default. I'm Monica Gibson with today's Press Review. Monday's standoff did see a few glimmers of hope as President Obama said he would accept short-term increase on the nation's borrowing authority. Meanwhile, the Republican senator floated a plan to cut federal spending and reform tax codes in a bid to raise the debt ceiling. But seven days into the fiscal shutdown and only nine days away from a critical need to raise the nation's debt limit, nothing amounting to a breakthrough was in sight. And finally, it seems trade partners and investors alike are beginning to get get nervous. In the first official reaction to the US political stalemate, China's Vice Foreign Minister told America's deadlocked politicians that the clock is ticking, and called on them to approve an extension of the national borrowing limit before the federal government is projected to run out of cash on the 17th of October. He said, We ask that the United States earnestly take steps to resolve in a timely way the political issues around the debt ceiling, and prevent a US debt default to ensure the safety of Chinese investments in the United States. He added, this is the United States' responsibility. On Tuesday, Japan's Finance Minister Teiro Aso reiterated the sentiment, calling on the US to resolve its debt ceiling standoff without delay. China and Japan combined hold $2.4 trillion worth of treasuries in the US. Therefore, worries in the US fiscal situation could jeopardise the value of assets they hold. In Japan, the Ministry of Finance is very worried about the potential impact on currency markets, according to a senior official. A US default could cause investors to dump the US dollar, which would sharply push up the value of the yen, potentially undoing the so-called success of Abenomics. Similarly, since the global financial crisis, which led to a sharp depreciation in the value of the dollar against the renminbi, the authorities in Beijing have been concerned about the fact that so much of their national reserves are held in the form of the American currency. Mr Zhu said, Safeguarding the debt is of vital importance to the economy of the US and the world, adding he hoped the US learned from history's mistakes regarding previous shutdowns. Well, that's all we have time for for the moment, but keep clicking back to Ducoscopy TV to check the progress of the dollar and the yen in our early updates. Goodbye for now.